I must say um, the effort and the, 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 the discipline from the players in terms of putting in the hard work was done. Um, as you would have heard before, you know, we had a very successful team camp. And um, now it's really um, basically keeping the players going until it's time for, for the game. Um, we, we prepared, we're ready for the tournament, which is the FCB Cup. And, um, you know, the practice game this morning is really to keep them fine-tuned as, as we have done through the camp. And also it's a significant part of the club, um, especially this year, where it's, it's more or less a, a handing over the baton or a change in the guard, so to speak, um, where the younger ones, we feel that um, the experience gained from last year and halfway through the first round, I think that um, they're ready now to accept uh, the level of responsibility from the more senior or more experienced players. Um, for example, uh, Curtis Gonzalez, uh, who played in the World Cup um, in Egypt, um, will be skipper in the team. Um, uh, well, it's, it's not from now. It, it was really done since um, the beginning of this month, um, prior to going on the camp. Um, we've handed the baton from Lyndon Andrews, who, who did a fantastic job for us. Um, but I think now... Gonzalez has shown the maturity and, and also he's learned a lot from Lyndon Andrews and um, the other experienced players on the team and um, I can now pass the armband on to him um, and, and as I said so far he's been responding perfectly well um, he's been doing um, his job and also having the extra responsibility f um, of the players also um, uh, young Dwayne James um, has been put into the fray as we say we try to give the majority of the, the younger ones who we think have matured over the year and more so over the greater part of this year um, the opportunity into the first team to play so more young legs will be included in our team um, which we expect to strengthen the team and more so we expect the pace of the game of Mapau to even go a step up compared to what it was and I think what it was um, we've showed that we, you know, teams are unable to keep up with us uh, we are working on other parts of the game which we are uh, very satisfied on um, in terms of the goal scoring and, 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 and ball possession um, more so um, the defending you know we put something together in terms of defending collectively and as a team and the boys have been responding very positively towards that so all in all basically what I'm trying to say is that the speed of map our game has increased um, when we are on the ball and we are going to force teams now to even increase the higher pace when we are defending um, it's something I'm trying in, in, in terms of watching the other teams in the league and, 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 and you know we've all generally see a, a weak point so to speak with not only in the pro league but teams in Trinidad in particular with the pace of the game and we're going to try to explore that um, you know I, I must say again hats off the uh, defense force and the job, fantastic job they've done in the first round. Um, also, you know, the coaches being good, good, good friends and, and colleagues. Um, as you can see this morning, we're able to, to play one another without fear. Um, you know, regardless if we have to play in the league or, or, or play in a knockout competition. And I think that respect, you know, from Ross Russell, Angus, even myself, just goes to show the older heads that, um, you know, you can come together, you can help one another prepare. And at the end of the day, when we play against each other for 90 minutes, uh, it's our out words it's, it's nothing is wrong with that but at the same time you know who else can help you prepare you know but your friends and, and the younger coaches in particular are trying to show that camaraderie and togetherness that I think is lacking um, in coaching in particular in Trey and Tobago especially um, but with, with, with the I don't like to say older coaches but the more mature coaches in order for me to fit in the younger ones into the team, and, and as I said, you know, the players like Kevin Molino, Curtis Gonzalez, uh, Dwayne James, young Shane Calderon, you know, to, uh, Akil Selby, to fit them into the team, of course, I had to make some, some, some changes. Um, and also, we did some business with some other teams. It's not just about changes in terms of slashing the squad or, or, or cutting players, but we did some business with some other teams, and um, you know, we thought that at the end of the day, the, both teams benefited. Uh, Anthony Wolf was was passed on to or transferred to Northeast Stars, and um, Devon Jameson was also sent to Joe Public to help boost their squad with their Concacaf. Uh, group stage games that are being played um, as I said before um, you know we try to facilitate teams as much as we can and also as I say you know in the CONCACAF uh, stage now really it's only Joe Public that's representing the region so it's important that we if, if possible and, and when we spoke to Derek King and Sam Phillip at, at Joe Public um, 
you know, the deal with Jameson seemed to be the appropriate one for them and also um, it helps us at Mapau with the players, you know, um, getting a little more playing time. But then with Jameson, um, he is on loan for the season at Joe Public. He will return to Mapau. Uh, Anthony Wolf was fully transferred to North East Stars to also help them, you know, boost their team um, with the experience that, that, that Wolf would bring to them. Um, he did a fantastic job here for us and, of course, we thank him um, for that. And as I say, we... Um, uh, Lyndon Andrews had to make a little way for Gonzalez, where that is concerned. Um, we bought no players uh, because I have full confidence in the squad that I have, which was assembled before the league. And um, the squad was trim, as I said, to make sure all the players get a little more playing time than they would have with a bigger squad. Even with the boys, or, or I should say the player, Devon Jameson, going to Joe Public. Clayton is with us um, for the next two weeks. Um, he, he, he went to the camp with us in Tobago, and um, we're looking to see how best he can fit in. You know, um, of course, he, he he brings with him tons of experience because of the fact that he still plays and still capable of playing. You know, and um, him training with the boys and also doing work uh, with the goalkeepers for me. Um, has been a tremendous boost not only to the morale of the players but also uh, the fact that um, the goalkeepers in particular um, will see him as, as so to speak someone to keep them on their toes because as I said before he still can play and he trains with the team um, he trains in the capacity as a, a coach and a player so um, uh, within the next week or two you'll be hearing a lot more um, about Clayton um, with with Mapo. but as I said before um, it was done on, on, on mutual consent by Clayton and I think he's impressed with the program that we have here at Mapau as well, um, coming from England, um, knowing what or, you know the professionalism is about um, and, and having seen um, the program that we've done here, um, he's very interested in joining us and as I say, you know, we, we hope to make it a, a, a full-time deal hopefully soon. <laughs> 